This video will show you how to do a unequal variance two sample t test using the fertilizer data set as an example. The key thing about the unequal variance test is the pooled standard deviation. And so we're going to take both components of both samples in terms of their standard deviation number of observations and calculate the pooled standard deviation, which we denote S sub P. And so we need to know the number of observations in each sample. We need to know the variance in each sample. And uh, we can calculate that. And so I've done all the calculations here in this table, or in this row. I've got all my numbers from my fertilizer data set. I will plug in there. And I can calculate the final pooled standard deviation of 43.30. And so remember, that's in bushels per acre for the fertilizer data set. So then I can go ahead and I can calculate my value for t, or my t statistic. And so here it's the mean of the first data set for the fertilizer minus the mean of the second data set divided by that pooled standard deviation, and then one over the number of observations in each sample. And so to do that, I could uh, calculate my value t as 190.0 minus 151.9. And remember, these are the bushels per acre, the mean values for both of the data sets. And then my pooled standard deviation I calculated was 53.30. And then multiplied by the square root of 1 over 8 plus 1 over 12. And we can do that, and when you calculate it, you'll get a value of t that equals 1.57. So that's where that falls on the t distribution. So what then would that mean? Well, from the t table, we can find our value, our critical value for t, with n pl n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom. And note, this is slightly different for the test for equal variances. So we have that degrees of freedom still at some critical level alpha divided by two level of significance. That equals 1.734. And so now we can say if, uh, if those two conditions are, are here, that is we find a value for the t statistic of 1.57 and we find the value on the t table of 1.734, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. That is to say, there is not enough evidence to say fertilizer A produces a higher yield than fertilizer B. Now that actually turns out to be the same outcome that we found in the test for equal variances. But note that the calculations are not the same. Some of them are quite different. And so I'm just gonna draw this out on our, uh, on our T distribution. So, uh, we might have a distribution of t call something like here. So this is the t distribution. Remember the mean of the t is centered around zero. Our critical value that we looked up from the t table was 1.734. So that's somewhere over here, 1.734. And now everything to the right of that if we find a value over here on the tail of the curve, would indicate that we would fail to reject. Or I'm sorry, we would reject to the right of the curve. Anything on the other side of that, like what we found, we would fail to reject. And so as an example, our number was 1.57. So here's the value 1.57 and where it falls on the T distribution. And so we don't have enough evidence. We are not in the shaded area off to the right. There's not enough evidence to say that fertilizer A produces a higher yield than fertilizer B. And remember too that that was the same outcome as we found for the equal variances. But these values, especially the 1.57 value compared to the other value for the equal variance test are different. So another way of calculating and doing a hypothesis test for the fertilizer data.